Good morning. Next is uh, reactions of glucose. Reactions of uh, glucose. First one. Reactions. Reactions of aldehyde group present in the glucose. Reactions of aldehyde group present in the uh, glucose. That means uh, the reactions given by uh, uh, aldehyde CHO group present in the glucose. First one. Yeah. Yeah. Oxidation reaction. Oxidation. Oxidation. One oxidation with oxidation with mild oxidizing agent, mild oxidizing agent like bromine water, like bromine water. Look at here CHO, CHOH four times, CH2OH. Correct? This is glucose, CHO, CHOH four times, CH2OH. Or oxidation with uh, mild oxidizing agent like uh, uh, bromine water, Br2H2O. So, Br2H2O, H2O. What will happen? This CHO group, only the CHO group will be oxidized to the corresponding uh, carboxylic acid group. So, we get uh, the COOH, CHOH four times, CH2OH. This acid is known as uh, gluconic acid. Gluconic acid. So this is oxidation with a mild oxidizing agent like uh, bromine water. When glucose is oxidized to uh, oxidized with uh, mild oxidizing agent like uh, bromine water, only the CHO group will be converted to COH and we get uh, gluconic acid. Second one, oxidation with a strong, strong oxidizing agent like a concentrated HNO3, concentrated HNO3. Look at here, when glucose, CHO, CHOH, four times, CH2OH is oxidized with the concentrated HNO3, concentrated HNO3, strong oxidizing agent like concentrated HNO3, the CHO group will be oxidized to COH. Similarly, this CH2OH group will be also oxidized to will be also oxidized to the corresponding carboxylic acid group. CHO group will be oxidized to COH, so we get COH, CHOH uh, four times. Then CH2OH, this is a primary alcohol. First it will be oxidized to CHO aldehyde. Finally, it will be converted to COH group. So this will also be converted to COH. This is known as a glucaric acid. Glucaric glucaric acid okay in mild oxidizing agent only the CHO group is converting to COH but here both CHO and CH2OH both will be converted to the corresponding carboxylic acid group and we get uh, glucaric acid next is uh, reducing action Second uh, B, second reaction, reducing action, reducing action. Reducing action means uh, not reduction. What do you mean by reducing uh, action? We know that uh, glucose is containing aldehyde group. Therefore, glucose can reduce our uh, tolerance reagent into metallic silver. Okay, so look at it here, reducing action. Yeah or one glucose glucose reduces reduces a uh, tolerance reagent tolerance reagent into metallic silver metallic metallic silver because uh, our uh, glucose is containing aldehyde group aldehyde therefore it is uh, okay ch choh four times CH2OH. We have studied that uh, aldehyde group can reduce tolerance reagent to uh, metallic silver and at the same time the aldehyde group 
itself will be oxidized to the corresponding carboxylic acid group. Anyway, uh, glucose is containing aldehyde group. Therefore, this aldehyde group, uh, this glucose can reduce Tollens reagent. Tollens reagent. Okay. In presence of uh, Ag2O, silver oxide will reduce, glucose will reduce Tollens reagent to metallic silver, metallic silver. And at the same time, what will happen to our uh, uh, glucose? The glucose in the uh, glucose, the CHO group will be oxidized to COH. COH, CH, OH, four times CH2OH. What is this one? Gluconic acid. So, keep it in mind. Uh, Glucose can reduce, glucose can reduce Tollens reagent into metallic silver and at the same time this glucose will be oxidized to uh, gluconic acid. Okay, therefore since glucose can reduce Tollens reagent as well as uh, filling solution, uh, this glucose is known as uh, reducing sugar, reducing sugar because it can reduce Tollens reagent and uh, filling solution. Now, uh, second one, glucose reduces filling solution. Filling solution reduces. So, second one, second one, glucose reduces filling solution. Filling solution into into a red brown a red brown. PP, uh, red brown CO2O cuprous oxide. Look at it here. CHO, CHOH four times CH2OH. Glucose, our filling solution. Filling solution. Filling solution. Presence of CUO. Okay. What will happen? Glucose reduces filling solution into cuprous oxide red brown cuprous oxide this all we have studied red brown what is this one cuprous oxide plus what will happen to our glucose glucose will be oxidized to gluconic acid coh ch oh four times C, uh, ch2 ch2 oh just like our uh, filling uh, tolerance reagent glucose reduces filling solution into red brown uh, precipitate of uh, cuprous oxide and at the same time glucose itself will be oxidized to uh, gluconic acid gluconic acid okay that is reducing action now next reaction is reduction now we are coming to reduction that means the glucose undergoing reduction C reduction reduction number one Reduction with, reduction with, reduction with sodium amalgam, sodium amalgam, amalgam, sodium amalgam. Look at here, when glucose CHO, CHOH four times, CH2OH reduces with uh, reduction with uh, sodium amalgam. Sodium amalgam, NaHg. What will happen to CHO group on reduction? CHO group on reduction will be converted to alcohol, primary alcohol. CHO will be converted to aldehyde on reduction will be converted to alcohol. So this CHO group will be converted to the corresponding alcohol group. Therefore, CH2OH, CHO group will be converted to CH2OH. And here it is CHOH four times. And here it is CH2OH. This compound is known as uh, sorbitol. What is that? Uh, sorbitol. Sorbitol. We get uh, sorbitol. That means uh, CHO group is reduced to CH2OH. We get uh, sorbitol. So this is the reduction with the uh, sodium amalgam. Next is uh, reduction with uh, concentrated HNO3 in presence of red phosphorus. Concentrated. HNO, uh, sorry, HCl in presence of uh, red phosphorus. Look at it here. When CHO, CHOH four times CH2OH is reduced with uh, concentrated 
HCl and in presence of red phosphorus. Reduction with the concentrated HCl in presence of red phosphorus. Like our conventional reduction or, or uh, wolf crystal reduction, what will happen to your aldehyde? Aldehyde group will be converted to alkyl group. Al reduction with the concentrated HCl in presence of uh, red phosphorus. We can see that uh, the aldehyde group, the alcohol group, everything will be reduced to the corresponding alkyl group correspond like your clemensen reduction we know that the cho group will be converted to alkane similarly what will happen the cho group will be converted to the corresponding alkyl group chohh will be converted to the corresponding alkyl group that means the ch2 group ch2oh also will be converted to ch3 group so we get a compound like ch3 c h2 ch2 uh, four times and uh, CH3 that means uh, N hexane we get a N hexane we get a N hexane okay and uh, uh, this is the reduction reaction next is uh, that means uh, uh, fourth reaction uh, the uh, action of uh, action of action of phenyl hydroxide phenyl hydroxide okay so look at here uh, how I am writing glucose CHO can be CH one CHOH group I am writing like this then CHOH three times then CH2OH okay look at here when it is reacting with the phenyl hydroxide phenyl hydroxide is a NH2 NH C6 H5 this is phenyl hydroxide what will happen H2O molecule will be eliminated minus H2O and we get a compound like CH uh, C, uh, CH CH double bond N NH C6 H5 then CH OH then CH OH thrice and uh, CH2 OH. First we get this compound, then uh, uh, we continue. No, look at here. In the next step, first we are getting this uh, product, that uh, 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 this compound. Then again, what will happen? This compound uh, uh, in the presence of phenyl hydroxide NH2, NH C6 H5. You can see that this secondary alcohol group, this secondary alcohol group will be oxidized to keto group so what we get we get ch double bond n nh c6 h5 here it is a co group and here it is a ch oh thrice and you get ch2 oh so in the second step we get this compound and finally and finally you can see that this compound again on reaction with the phenyl hydrazine nh2 nh c6 H5, what will happen? A water molecule will be eliminated from here. Minus H2O, we get the final product. CH double bond N, NH, C6, H5. Here it will become C double bond N, NH, C6, H5. And here it is uh, CH, OH, uh, thrice, uh, CH2, OH. This compound is known as uh, Glucosazone, glucosazone. Okay, uh, so we get a glucosazone uh, uh, by the action of uh, phenyl hydroxide. These are the four reactions involving the aldehyde group present in the glucose. First one is uh, reduction, uh, sorry, oxidation. Second one is reducing action. Third one is reduction, and fourth one is uh, reaction with the phenyl hydroxide. Now, second reaction that means. Uh, reaction of uh, glucose uh, uh, the hydroxyl group present in the glu uh, glucose second reaction reactions reactions involving involving the hydroxyl group hydroxyl group okay hydroxyl group that means first one is uh, first one is uh, acetylation 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 means, uh, look at it here, glucose C6H12O6 is treated with acetic anhydride CH3COO 
twice O, then we get a compound like C six H seven O C six H seven O O C O C H three five times. Okay, O C O C H three five times. Glucose pentaacetate. This is known as the glucose penta penta acetate. Penta acetate. Plus we get acetic acid C H three C O H. Okay, glucose penta acetate acetylation reaction with the acetic anhydride. Next is the second reaction. Second reaction methylation. 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 Okay, that means so glucose C six H twelve O six a reaction with the Methyl alcohol in presence of a dry HCl, dry HCl, we get a compound like C6H11O5, O5, OCH3, OCH3. We get this compound. Its name is methyl glucoside. Methyl glucoside. Glucoside plus H2. Okay, these two reactions. That means acetylation and uh, methylation in these two reactions, uh, the hydroxyl groups present in the glucose is involved in. Okay, uh, the other four reactions, uh, which group is involved in, aldehyde group is involved in. Thank you. We will continue in the next class.